Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have some gorgeous new product to share with you guys. We are gonna make this super cute card and I'm gonna show you all of the things that we're gonna use actually. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna sneak these out of the way and I have to give you guys a peek. I can finally show the inside of our new spring mini catalog. And if we flip to, this is on page 38 and 39 so you can see the beautiful tropical oasis suite can you see look at all of the fun beautifulness on this page i love these products they i guess because they make you think of like vacation right so we are going to use the tropical oasis designer series paper i think we're going to use some of these tropical oasis trinkets i was playing around and i think um, i'm going to show you guys those real in real life when we uh, make our project and then we're also using the braided burlap trim so i'm going to kind of try to zoom in i will tell you guys too if you are wanting kind of a sampler of all of the designer series paper including this tropical oasis designer series paper i am doing a paper share so go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com details are there you can email me to at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com if you want the link to order the paper share um, that is available i think it's until january 28th so you've got a little bit of time on that one but i want to show you those are the trinkets and i'll show you guys those live too because look at those cute there's like a leaf and a flower and a pineapple and i'm going to say it's a ukulele but I'm not for sure. And then the braided burlap trim. I don't know what I called that before, but it's called the braided burlap trim if I didn't if I didn't say that correctly. And then here is this awesome stamp set, the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set. So you've got great sentiments. We've got, hello, rest and relax, you deserve it. Thank you, may your birthday be memorable and your friendship is timeless. And then look at all those fun images. And of course, anything that's kind of whited out around the edges means there are dyes the in the tropics dies that will cut those things out. So we're gonna use a bunch of those on this project as well. So an awesome suite of products. Again, it is the Tropical Oasis suite in our new spring mini catalog. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give you measurements for the things that you need measurements for. So we're gonna start with our card base. We have, this is, so to start out with your Grapefruit Grove card stock, right? A full sheet of cardstock. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. Okay. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Love to do that to make those nice crisp folds on our cards. Okay. I'm going to sneak that out of the way. Put that baby right up there. Then this is the fun, what is this called? Tropical Oasis. I do not know the names yet. Tropical Oasis designer series paper. Look at those cute, they're like old station wagons, I feel like. Like, look at how fun those are. Don't you just want, don't you want to drive one of those like in Hawaii? And then this is kind of a cool, I feel like um, uh, some of the backsides of these are going to be great for masculine cards too. Just kind of like a linen look almost, right? So very fun. And then we are going to use a piece of the pineapple designer series paper as well. This one we're going to do, ooh, look at that. Talk about tropical on that side, right? So we are gonna use one of our rect rectangle stitched um, dies on this piece. But actually, so let me tell you, this one you do need a measurement on. This piece of DSP measures two by five and a half inches. Okay, um, and I think that's it. Everything else is just, we've got some scraps of Whisper White and Pear Pizzazz cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? So let's do our stamping first. We're gonna grab, this is the palm tree stamp and we are gonna use our markers. You guys, I haven't, I haven't done this in a long time and it was so fun to kind of get back in the swing of things using the marker. So I'm gonna start with my pear pizzazz marker. And you can see I've kind of got this laid on its side. I turned it upside down because I just wanna get the leaves on my pine, not my pine tree, my palm tree. We have pine trees here in Michigan, no palm trees where we are, especially this time of year. Nothing like that would survive, but you can see how I'm, I'm kind of coloring just with the, and this is the fat end. You guys know this? This was like a revelation for me years ago. I learned this. This is the fat tip end of the marker. And then that little skinny line means this is the skinny tip of the marker. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go over that because I have no idea if I really did it or not, all of it, because then I started showing you guys that. But it's always good to kind of, if you make multiples of these, they actually get better as you go because, you know, maybe you leave a little bit of ink on here from 
the last one that you did. And then we're gonna use, this as a soft suede marker. So along the bottom, and again, I'm just kind of laying this on its side and just kind of painting down the length of my palm tree, okay? So that looks good there. I'm gonna scoot those out of the way. Now you have to huff on it. So I can't do that and put my head underneath there, so you're gonna to have to listen. So just blow on it, basically. And actually, this one looks like the better piece to use for this one, so we're gonna do that right there. And I'm gonna press firmly. I'm not wiggling or racking because I don't wanna get any of the edges. And look at that, isn't that awesome? Look at all of the detail. Oops, as I scooch everything out of the way. Isn't that cool? Look at all the detail on that stamp. And then of course there's a die that cuts that out, okay? So we've got that one. We're also gonna use our flower with, this is Grapefruit Grove ink. So we're just gonna ink the stamp up fully in Grapefruit Grove ink and we're gonna stamp that flower right there. And then we're also gonna do our sentiment with, ooh, excuse me, the rest and relax. You cannot read that, I'm sure. Upside down, inside out. Rest and relax, you deserve it. And we're gonna stamp that. Straight down, straight up, no wiggling or racking. And there we go, we have a beautiful stamped image there. Also in our Grapefruit Grove ink, we are gonna use a punch that I cannot remember the name of right now. It's one of our label punches. I will have all of the item codes for everything that we are using in the details to the YouTube video. So I will by then know the exact name of this punch. Like I said, it's one of our label punches. Um, but yeah, if you don't have this one yet, it's a great, like super simple, but very versatile punch. Okay, so now we want to kind of scoot some things out of the way. I need to grab my die cutting machine and figure out what do I need. I need these four pieces to die cut. So we're gonna have to do this uh, two separate times, I'm gonna say. I think I can probably only fit about half of it on here each time. So we have our magnetic platform one. This is new, actually, if you can believe it. It looks pretty well used already, doesn't it? But this is about brand new. <laughs> Maybe you can see a little bit better. You, can you tell I, I used it for a bunch of curvy keepsake, mini curvy keepsake boxes for Christmas time. Okay, so our rectangle stitched framelits or dies here, we are going to use, I have to, this always helps me to put this one on the back side. But for your purposes, we are using the fourth largest, the wider die, okay? So we're gonna put that right on here, on, and that is just gonna fit. Boy, I must have really been trusting myself that I could do this. It probably, this is probably a four inch wide piece of designer series paper. And I will tell you guys that it cuts actually, so it stitches on the inside and the outside. So it actually cuts, can you see, right in between the two stitching marks. So this is just gonna fit on here. I'm sure because I made a bunch of these. And then let's do one more. Let's grab, I'll show you guys up close all of our, these are called the In the Tropics dies, okay? Um, so we are gonna grab out a few of these, but look at this fun pineapple. I'm gonna be showing on Facebook Live soon something fun with that one, the pineapple, because it's so cool, right? But we are gonna use today, we are gonna grab both of these leaves. We need, we're gonna do those in a sec though. And then this one is to do our palm tree. We'll do that one in a sec too. This is for our flower. That's the one we're gonna do right now. Okay, and I'm gonna put my, actually you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda help ourselves out a little bit. Now this one is not symmetrical. So you do have to spend a moment kind of flipping this around because all of a sudden it's gonna be, it's gonna fit exactly. Everywhere else you're gonna kinda be maneuvering it and like, oh, I think that should work and it doesn't. So just keep flipping until you find, and I think there it is. Now, as long as my magnetic platform doesn't start winging stuff around, I think we will be all set. Okay, here we go. So carefully set that on there so that guy doesn't move. Oops, that is tight. I know, it's those big rectangle dies. They always make a lot of noise because there's so much, I don't know, width, I guess I would say. Okay, so here you can see it was just barely big enough, right? Okay, so that's my little piece that's left. So we've got that guy. We can pop that one right out. Beautiful, perfect. Now we are gonna grab the palm trees. I'm gonna put that one on there. And then just a couple of leaves with our, this is pear pizzazz cardstock. So we're just gonna pop those on. These are gonna die cut and emboss at the same time. Now I'm gonna make sure that this thing is lined up well. That looks pretty good there. 
Okay, I'm gonna crank this through again. So if I didn't say before, I have my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, and then my paper, my dies, and then the other clear cutting pad was on top. Now these guys, <laughs> well, I'll show you. I tend to kind of fling those around. That kind of helps them pop out. And then this one there, that peels right out of there too, okay? So we got those. Now these, we're gonna hope. There we go. Yes, see how nice that is? <laughs> so just, you know, I say fling them on the table, not on the floor, because the table's a lot easier to pick these things up off of than the floor. <laughs> That's my only um, recommendation on that. Okay, so I think we have all of our parts and pieces. Now we can kind of start putting things together. Okay, so this fun designer series paper, we are gonna add our adhesive to our strip of designer series paper. So we're gonna pop this one right in the bottom about like that. Then we're gonna add more adhesive. I love, look at how fun that paper is. Look at that, the little bananas and pineapples and I don't know, whatever else all the other fruit is there, right? Cute, cute, cute. But I like the pineapple side too, huh? I think that's pretty darn cute as well. Okay, so we're gonna put that maybe right about there. Now we are gonna add a little strip of, this is, let me make sure, the braided burlap trim, and I think it's a 5 8 inch wide. So you can see it's a good thickness there. And I thought, you know, this is probably um, a little bit more difficult to tie a bow with, so I thought let's just do kind of a strip along here. And you really only kind of need it on the one side. You can kind of just cover it up back behind this piece can kind of cover that little baby up right there. So I am going to just add some adhesive right along here. And I just kind of want that strip to maybe go right about there. Okay. I'm going to press firmly to make sure that is on there well. And then we are going to add some dimensionals behind these things. Where are my dimensionals? Here we go. Okay, and actually behind my palm tree too, so I'll flip that guy over. Okay, so I thought it was easier to not put any adhesive behind the um, the trunks of the palm trees, I guess. Okay, so we are gonna put these guys on next. So just peel those little babies off. We're gonna put those maybe right about there. Actually, we'll do that one next. We are going to kind of pop this where do i want it maybe we're gonna go hmm, let's try right about there and then we're actually just going to put a little bit of adhesive i have to show you guys these though because maybe you didn't see them when i was flinging them around so can you see they die cut obviously and then they embossed the leaves too so they're very very cool so we're going to kind of bend those up a little bit and then just add a little bit of adhesive to the bottom of each of them on the back side, okay? And we're just gonna kind of tuck these little babies back in behind there. Press pretty firmly, right? And then where's our little flower here too? We're gonna add our flower, right? Maybe about there, okay? Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So on here, I used a couple of the Gingham Gala sequins. Uh, because I didn't have these yet when I first designed this card. But now I want to check these out. So the little Tropical Oasis Trinkets. I think these are really, really cute. So you can see we have little, turn it around so you guys can really see it, right? Little ukuleles. And they're kind of in like a, it's almost like a rustic copper. Um, I think this is the one that we're going to use is that little leaf, like a palm frond or something. There is also a flower uh, maybe a hibiscus, and then there is, look at, super cute. Can you see if I'm getting a very good angle for these? Um, that one, pineapple, right? Okay, so four different shapes, and I think maybe you get four or five of each of them. We could check in the catalog. Let's see, it says uh, 24. Actually, you get six of each of them. So I underestimated there. So 24 pieces, four of each of them. So we're just going to add, we're going to use our well, mini glue dots here. I'm just going to press that right onto my glue dot. And I kind of think it's fun to just add that right there. So what do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? 
rest and relax. You deserve it. So you could, this would be a great like um, retirement card, don't you think? Or just, you know, even for a birthday, um, someone that's always on the go, just tell them to relax a little bit, right? Enjoy, slow down and enjoy life, right? So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this card. I hope that you have um, had a chance to check out our new spring mini catalog. If you do not have a catalog yet and you do not have a demonstrator, if you would like me to send um, a catalog to you, I'd be happy to do that. You can then get, um, I love to flip through the catalog. I like to look online, but I really love to flip through the catalog. So you'd be able to do that too. I can send you a celebration brochure as well. So just send me a message. Um, email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. Send me a Facebook message, however you want to get a hold of me. Post a comment um, on our YouTube video. I'm happy to send you these catalogs, right? Also, make sure you, when you are ready to order, go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and grab the host code. It's over on that right-hand side toolbar because every Friday I do a Facebook Live at 11.30 a.m. over on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. When you grab that host code on the right-hand side toolbar, you always get the cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live and your name goes into a drawing for my weekly Facebook Live video. You just have to put at least a $30 order in, right? If you bump your order up to $50, I always send you a free embellishment and then right now with celebration you can pick one of the awesome free items from Stampin Up as well with every $50 order. So let me tell you now is the time to get all the fun stuff that you've seen in the new spring mini. Stock up on those basics that you need and get your free celebration items. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you were inspired today and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video and comment, like. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So thanks guys. Have a great day.